egg spot. For this project, we'll need a small Phillips head screwdriver. Before we begin, I always remove the battery and AC adapter. Unscrew the two screws on the left and right hinge covers. Slide the hinge covers away from the laptop base. Loosen the access panel door cover screw. Remove the two hard drive screws. Remove the hard drive. Slide the access panel door cover down and lift it away from the laptop. Disconnect the antenna cables from the wireless cards. Disconnect the LCD cable from the motherboard. Remove the cables from the routing channels. Loosen the four heat sink screws. Unplug the heat sink fan. Lift and remove the heat sink from the motherboard. Remove the two hinge screws. Remove the seven palm rest screws on the bottom of the laptop. Unscrew the single optical drive latch locking screw. Eject the optical drive latch by pressing it in. Slide the optical drive out of the laptop base. Loosen the two palm rest screws located in the optical drive bay. In the battery area, loosen the three clips by sliding them to the left to loosen the LED cover. Flip the laptop over. Carefully lift the LCD display assembly away from the bottom base. Lift and remove the LED cover from the laptop base. Remove the two screws holding the keyboard to the bottom base. Using the tab at the top of the keyboard, slide the keyboard up and lift the keyboard away from the bottom base assembly. Remove the four screws holding the palm rest to the base assembly. Disconnect the four palm rest cables. Carefully unsnap and lift the palm rest off the laptop base. Remove the single retaining screw holding the modem to the motherboard. Lift the modem and modem cable away from the motherboard. Seat the modem cable and modem onto the motherboard. Secure it with the single retaining screw. Place the touchpad palm rest onto the laptop base starting from the bottom working your way up. Replace the four screws to hold down the touchpad palm rest to the bottom base assembly. Connect and plug in the four palm rest cables.
Place the keyboard onto the laptop, slide it into the connector. Secure the keyboard with the two screws. Place the LED cover onto the laptop, press down until the clips lock into place. Place the LCD display assembly onto the base. Close the LCD lid and flip the laptop over. Replace the two hinge screws to hold down the display assembly to the bottom base. Replace the seven touchpad palm rest screws. Tighten the two palm rest screws in the optical drive bay. Replace the heat sink fan assembly. Tighten down the four heat sink screws in a numeric order located on the heat sink. Plug the heat sink fan into the motherboard. Reroute the antenna cable and LCD cables through the bottom routing channels. Connect the antenna cables to the wireless cards. Connect the LCD cable to the motherboard. Slide the optical drive into the laptop base. Replace the locking screw. Place the hinge covers onto the laptop base. Slide them into position. Replace the two hinge cover screws. Place the access door cover onto the laptop starting at the bottom. Slide up into place. Replace the hard drive. Screw down a single retaining screw. Replace the two hard drive screws. Replace the battery. found this tutorial useful. All parts discussed in this tutorial can be found at partspeople.com.